Good morning, guys. Oh, I sound awful in the morning. Um, yeah, it's 5 a.m. and I'm getting ready to go to the gym. First, we're gonna eat something. So I'm gonna do a full day eating for you guys and you can see what I eat. So this is my pre-workout. I just have two rice cakes. I get the lightly salted Quaker. And right now I'm using PB2 chocolate. It is not my favorite. I prefer peanut butter and companies, powdered peanut butter. But you know, only one grocery store here carries it. So got the chocolate PB2, two tablespoons, tablespoon of water. That's it. That's what I'm eating. So I'm gonna eat that. I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm doing a Brittany Dawn leg day. They're killer. And I'll probably do one of my HIIT workouts for my book. And then I'll be back home to get ready for work. So I'll see you then. All right, so I just got home from the gym. Um, so I'm going to have some almond milk as my post-workout just to get some vitamins and calcium in. Um, I'll have my full breakfast when I get to work, so I'm going to drink that. And then I got an hour, actually, I only have 45 minutes to get ready for work and leave, so. Alright. Come in, where are you going? Kiss it. Bye. All right, it's cold. I'm getting ready to leave for work and the car's loaded. Let's see what we got. I got my purse and then I got my bag of all my food. I just take like a whole thing of eggs, all my veggies and stuff, pack it up for the week and I'm good to go. All right, I got to work. I am prepping breakfast, so I'll show you what I'm eating. All right, so we have just one whole egg, an egg white, and then I put some tablespoon of whole ground flaxseed meal in there. I'll mix that up and microwave it. And then I got a one-fourth cup steel-cut oats quick cook. And then I do another tablespoon of the flaxseed meal and the oatmeal five frozen strawberries and I'll microwave that. Um, I do a cup of water and then two tablespoons of water in my oatmeal. It looks liquidy after you do it but it comes out perfect. I'll show you guys. But yeah, that's it so far. I gotta cook it up. Alright, so for my egg I will do one minute and then I open it, mix it up some more, and then do another 30 seconds. And that's the egg. Look at it fog up the camera. <laughs> it's pretty fluffy. Coffee. Alright, in the oatmeal I did 2 minutes and 30 seconds and I'm going to stir it up. And then do another minute. All right, oatmeal's done. I then add sugar-free apple butter, two tablespoons, just apples. And I add some cinnamon. And then I'll stir it up. And that's breakfast, so I'm gonna eat that, and then I'm gonna work, and I will see you guys at lunchtime. And finished product. My oatmeal, eggs, coffee. And I told you guys it would get thicker. Look at it. It's perfect. All right, so I kind of got a little break. Um, uh, one of my sister's twins was sick, so I had to leave work so I can come watch the other one while she takes him to the doctor. So I thought I would do a little more in detail about my food while I got a few seconds. Um, 
because I know I'm going to get asked. A lot of you already know I do not track my macros or anything like that. I don't track my food at all. I don't count anything. Um, I used to do that about two years ago and I kind of just got tired of tracking all my meals, trying to figure out what worked and like fit my macros and everything. It was kind of tiring to do it every time we went out to eat. So, you know, I just got tired of living that way. I don't have any like thing I'm prepping for or anything. So I just eat intuitively. I just eat healthy 80% of the time and then 20% of the time I have treats or just anything I feel like. Um, I don't meal prep either. I don't spend any time preparing my meals for the week or anything like that. Um, most of my meals can be made within five to ten minutes. Um, I like things quick. Sometimes dinner takes longer now that I prepare dinners that me and Nate both will eat. So I mean that's kind of nice though because then we can kind of sit down together and eat and I'm not just eating chicken and rice or a salad, something quick because I made him a full dinner. Um, I've figured out, you know, restaurants and things like that, places I can get meals fast if I'm out on the go. Um, I go to Breadco a lot. There's a few salads I get there. I just, I usually get the house, the cafe salad and get chicken with it. And then I like the Mediterranean chicken quinoa salad. That's like my favorite. I don't even put dressing on it. I just mix that tomato stuff in there with it and it's really good. Um, we have crazy bowls and wraps by me. I love that place. I get, you know, quinoa, steamed veggies, grilled chicken, no sauce. And just eat it that way. I go to my grocery stores a lot and prep my own salads and bring my own dressings and put those on there. And there's just a few other restaurants around me that I know have meals that are healthy and that I don't feel bad about eating. So I'll do that a lot. Another reason I don't prep my meals is because we have like a full kitchen at my work. So, you know, it's pretty easy. I just bring everything I need. I prepare it in the kitchen and I'm good to go. Um... So really I just bring all my food with me for the week, take it to work, and leave it all there and prep it there. It's nothing crazy as you guys see. It's nothing super fancy. It's just super quick. And I'll have to do a weekend full day of eating because it's kind of completely different since I am at home and have time to cook. I mean, Nate will go out to eat and stuff like that. So I will do that maybe this weekend. I will do a full weekend of eating, well, full day of eating for the weekend. I do try to eat mostly organic fruits and veggies just because I did get into a stage of that in my life where I was reading ingredients and what the ingredients would do to your body and just how bad like the spray is that's on non-organic foods. So I do eat all organic when I can. So all my fruits and veggies are all organic. Most of my even just my eggs are usually all organic. Any of the like my apple butters organic. Um, if I can get it organic, I will get it organic if my store has it. Just because I prefer not having the nasty chemicals. That's why I usually do not do the like sugar-free stuff. Because I don't want the artificial sweeteners in your body. Your body doesn't know what to do with artificial sweeteners. So when you eat an artificial sweetener, it doesn't take anything for your body to break it down. Because it's zero. There's nothing there. So when you eat real sugar, your body will start thinking it doesn't need to do anything to break it down. So you're better off just eating real organic sugar because your body knows what to do with that. So... I mean, I understand people with, that are in competitions will do the zero sugar-free stuff because it's just better for them for competition. But overall, health-wise, just eat real sugar. Your body knows what to do with it and just keep it at a minimum. That's how I do things. I like to be as healthy as I can, but, you know, I still eat my Oreos and those are my 20% naughty. I typically have two to three treat meals a week, usually on the weekends, uh, just because that's when me and Nate will go out to eat and stuff like that, or I have my Arctic Zero, which I load up with Oreos and peanut butter and delicious things, um, but since I can't have real ice cream, it's a great substitute. But yeah, I have two to three a week, unless there's something else going on during the week, then I will enjoy that food too, because memories over abs is what I say. I've had abs, you know, and missed out on a lot of stuff because I wanted to keep my abs and didn't want to eat the food, and it's not worth it, trust me. Eat the food, enjoy the memories, don't let people sit there and question why you're not eating the food because I hated that. I hated when people would, you know, you can eat those cookies because you're skinny, like eat all the cookies, you're so skinny, but you know, eat a cookie, you don't need to eat all the cookies, but eat a cookie and just enjoy yourself, you know. Don't miss out on memories because you want a six pack or because you're trying to hit a weight or something. Unless you're prepping for something and you're just trying to be healthy, enjoy a cookie. It's life and 
you know, when you're 60, 70 years old, are you going to be happy that you sat out and watched everybody else eat some cake or pizza and you sat there and ate your salad? No, you're going to be sad. You're going to be happy that, you know, you ate that salad and pizza and you enjoyed the time and had a good time. There is plenty of days in the year to be healthy. So enjoy your family and friends. Also, you guys might wonder why I eat PB2 in the morning instead of just regular peanut butter. Um, because I have a peanut butter problem. So I will usually eat more peanut butter at the end of the day. So sometimes I don't, but to prep myself in case I have a peanut butter splurge, I like to, you know, use PB2 in the morning. Cause you know, I'm not really, I'm kind of, uh, I'm not all the way awake. I'm not enjoying it really that much. So I use the PB2 to cut back on fat and calories so that if later I want to have a PB splurge, I can and not feel bad about it. So I will have more peanut butter later. So I just want all the peanut butter. I don't know. I have a problem and I don't know. So I gotta stop real quick. My mom wants me to pick her up a salad on my way back to work and I'm going to get a drink. So let's do this. Today. Good. Good. What can I get for you? Um, can I get a Cobb salad with tuna and no dressing? Absolutely. And anything else for you? Um, and then a large unsweet green tea iced. Sure thing. And um, can I get a large, uh, just regular tea unsweet iced? Yeah, of course. And, and that's all. Sounds good. I'll see you at the window. Okay, thank you. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. It's a cob and a large black and a large green tea? Yes. All right. $12.59. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Do you today? Um, no. That's okay. All right. That's the green. Okay. Just the black. All right. And your food will be up in just a few minutes. Okay, thank you. Uh -huh. I almost didn't think I had enough money because <laughs> I only had $17 and I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna have to tell her to take the teas off, but it was only 12 bucks. So that could have been embarrassing. I got my green tea. I'll go back to work and make my lunch and I'll show you guys what it is. All right, so here's lunch. We got cucumbers, carrots, mushrooms, and I dip it in some Bolt House dressing. And then I got another egg white, whole egg, and more, another tablespoon of flaxseed meal. And then two slices of low sodium East Keel bread. And I put some amazing spicy red pepper. This stuff is amazing. Like, I know there's toasted red pepper stuff, it doesn't even come close, so this stuff's super good. So that is lunch. Alright, so I just got home from work, trying to decide what I want to eat for dinner. Not really sure, so I'm just going to throw something together. Nate's having leftovers, so i got to find something to eat. So let's see what I have. Alright, so I just went with a salad. Pretty simple. So we got celery, tomatoes, some salsa, cheese, and beyond chicken. Um, it's the salsa I use. Just two to three tablespoons. Um, some more Bolt House dressing. Honey mustard this time. And... I use Daya cheese, Daya, I don't know, since I can't have real cheese, it's, it's good. And, you know, oh, oh, and the chicken, Beyond Chicken. It's not real chicken, it's soy chicken, but it's really good and, I don't know, I just like it. <laughs> I don't prefer it over grilled chicken or anything. It's just another option to have for a protein. So, 
beyond chicken. And that's it. So, let's eat. Alright, and the last thing I'm going to eat today is... Popcorn! See that? <laughs> I will probably eat half this bag, so I'm not gonna lie. Um, which there's only like four and a half servings, so yeah. I'll eat half the bag. I actually prefer Boom Chicka Pop, but yeah. Skinny Pop's good too, so. This is my night snack. This is it. That's my food day. Alright guys, so that's it. That is my full day of eating for you. Um, that's pretty much how my days go every day of the week, Monday through Friday. I mean, breakfast is the same, lunch is the same, dinner usually changes in the night snack, but typically that's a typical day for me. So if you want more videos like this, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it, and I will do more. Leave a comment if you guys have specific videos you're wanting to see. I know a lot of people want me to do some home workout things, so I'll do some of those. But yeah, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!